Hey what's up guys and today I'm going to break you the Galactic Assault maps of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, I may do this for uh, Heroes vs Villains and Capital Supremacy but that's only if you want to see it and if you do let me know by hitting the like and commenting a video suggestion of yours because I want to interact with you fans a bit more obviously and I may do a video suggestion once a week like a fan suggestion and give you a shout out for a good suggestion of a video uh, but yeah let's get started with number 13 Tatooine now I just despise this map I don't know why last phase is okay first two are pretty lackluster I'd say the other reason I'd play it is just get some dark ball gameplay obviously not now but I Darth Maul's one of my favourite characters and this is where he can really shine, similar to Kenobi and Darth Vader, who also have pretty high stamina. And I think that's what you need to really get into this map. But obviously, not for me, and that's why I have it number 13. We have Kashyyyk, and probably one of those two reasons is that I have this so low. And may shock you guys here is one I I know that's the characters on this map that are used that need to have some good like to have the best time with it like Dooku and Boba are not my best characters and also like near the start of the game like at the start going into near the middle life of the game now it was Kashyyyk like now pops up too much and that is probably one of the other reasons why I hate it obviously now maps like the original trilogy are popping up a lot more but like they're the only two reasons why I have it this low and also because the second and third phase are also very lacklustre compared to the first phase which is one of my favourites in the game Kajik Number 12, moving on to number 11, we have Takodana. Now, I think all, well, the first two phases are very lackluster, and that's where you could lose most people in the game, to be honest with you. If the first phase isn't immersive and really hits the spot for you, then I don't think the rest of the game, for most people, will have a lot of people in the lobby, because the first phase is technically make or break for Galactic Assault to be honest with you. Also the final phase people will wait for but maybe they'll go into a different game and probably try and do that that way. Obviously trying to capture Mars's castle in the final phase is one of my favourites. I don't want to discount that or anything but personally Takadana number 11 moving on to number 10. To top 10 and at number 10, we have the graveyard of Star Destroyers, Jakku. Now the reason I have this number 10 is because all three phases of this are poor. And also I just don't like sand planets, to be honest with you. I don't know why, it's just probably the way that uh, DICE have designed them. It's just not in my flavour and it's not my type of gravy. Uh, but Jakku number 10 I will appreciate the design and the layers and layers on level of what level of detail that goes into these maps and I can appreciate the, be the beauty of this map and also the rustiness and also how it makes Jakku what it is unique but personally for me it's it's not my type of gravy sorry that Jakku number 10 Moving to number nine. Nine. We have Geonosis. This may be one of the newer planets, but to be honest with you, it's not one of my favourite planets. But for detail wise, as you can see right now, it is absolutely gorgeous. To be honest with you, I also think that this planet kind of like the first phase is pretty cool. The third phase is alright, it just takes a bit longer than most phases. And personally, I don't like this planet much like most some planets. I don't know why, but 
it's just a me thing to be honest with you lads. But I have a few notices on in the number nine spot. Let's move into number eight. At number eight, this is where we get to the good maps now. Well to me the really good maps. And we have Yavin 4. Now the reason I have Yavin 4 here is if the first phase was better, it would definitely be top three, without a doubt. But because of its lackluster first phase and the okay second phase, I have to put it here. Obviously, I hate to put it here because I am I'm in between the prequel and original trilogy fans, and as you know, the the Star Wars timeline was recently changed to BSI and it used to be BBY, which was Yavin, and that always held a place in everyone's hearts and Star Wars in particular. But now that it's changed, it's kind of got lower down in people's rankings of planet importance, and obviously it's going to go down in rankings in the Battlefront importance. So Yavin four number eight for me. Moving on. To number seven. Next up, as you could probably see by the background here, I have Tamina, and which is obviously uh, Clone's home planet. And the reason I have it here is because the third phase is too good to like unrecognize. The third, the first phase. It's probably the hardest phase in this game. Just because of the small room and what well, medium room answer. And just to be honest with you. Just how hard it is for the separatists to win on this map. Because when you go on this map and you're a separatist you think, alright, what is the slowest way to lose? Or to have the most fun. Right, so that is what you obviously think of. But personally, I wouldn't think that. I'd probably think push forwards because it'll be worth it. And people like Lando, even Vader will shine on this map. But that is why I have Kameen on number 7. Also a quick thing. Also the reason I have Kameen on number 7 is because of the great details I've got into this map. Similar to most maps, but I think it's kind of got more detail than most maps. But Camino number seven into number six. But we have Star Killer Base, and also the reason I have it here is because of probably how much it surprised people. The map because you know Star Killer was similar to Death Star in the in the movies, and obviously you'd probably think that it'd be like this in Battlefront Two, but it isn't. It is so different, so unique, and the second phase is probably is probably one of my favourite phases in ho the whole of all of this game. Also, the great details, and also it looking like it's like in between the explosion, like not as it explode, it's exploding. It looks like it's already been through a war. It looks like the base is like about to explode, but. That's why I have it number six. It's just, I don't know. It's one of my personal favourites. But obviously I have to rank it in a realistic position. To me, anyways. But, number six. Dark Hill Base. Let's go to number five. We have Hoth. The reason I have this is just because probably one of my second favourite Star Wars films is Empire Strikes Back. This is probably one of my favourite scenes in Star Wars where the at get tied up in... Uh, wire and falls uh, and also another reason is just kind of the good phases and the good attention to detail but that's why I have it number five moving to number four wait also another side note also just because I can use some of my favorite characters in this like Grievous, Vader and Luke they really shine in this map so hop Number five. Number four, I'm gonna try and get through this a bit more quicker now. Uh, we have Endor, 
And the reason I have Endor here and a bit higher than most people would expect is because I really love the phases. I love how the rebels are fi finally in control and are finally using the Empire's tech against them with the sheer size of an AT-80. Final phase is the best of the game for me. Besides from Hoth first phase. Uh, also Kylo Ren, Darth Vader and Luke can really shine on this map. And they're some of my favourite characters of the game. So I have Endor number 4. Now coming in at number 3 we have Crate. And the reason is I just, I don't know but I really enjoy this map and I really can't explain why. But I think it's just the third phase, the first phase is too good to uh, overlook, to be honest with you. Uh, the tunnels, as you can see here, through the salt mines, and the final phase, it's just the most unique map in Balfour 2. It blew me away when it came out for the Last Jedi DLC. And, to be honest with you, I really enjoy this, and it just... I'd say it's one of the most immersive maps of the game. And that is why Crate is number three. Moving on to the final two. The two are just missing the mark for number one. We have the second Death Star. Now, the reasoning that this is number two and not number one is probably the first phase. It's to me, it's not really interesting. The second and third phase are outstanding. The attention to this map is really good, and it's just my type of gravy, my type of salsa. And that's why I have it, number two. Now moving in to the winning position. And in first place, in my opinion, the best galactic assault map of Star Wars Battlefront 2 is Naboo. Now, the only reason I think this could edge uh, Death, the Death Star in this is because of the first phase. The first phase is outstanding. And people like Grievous, which is currently my favourite villain in Battlefront 2, are built for this map. Even though he came along with Genosis, well, nearly with Genosis, he was just born for this map. And I could be happy with how he came out, to be honest with you. And Naboo final phase, definitely really good for people like Anakin to just w wipe rooms out, especially back in day. But this, the only reason I think this map could improve is if they had the separatist skins instead, because it, I know, yeah, the Trade Federation technically fought for them. So I'd, I'd say for the other maps, give them the separatist skins and all that. This map see why they have it for this but there is your 13 galactic assault maps of Battlefront 2 you yeah, guys for watching uh well shout out to one of my mates ford for making the thumbnail today um i hope you all enjoy please like subscribe and leave a comment down on if i should do h3v and capital supremacy maps and also comment down a video idea because yours may be picked and you may be shouted out in the next video but until until then, my fellow Sith friends, this is your mysterious and demonic shadow hunter. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.